Howdy folks, it's Zach, and welcome to part two of my easy credits and fast heroics uh, and or fast missions to make lots of money. However you want to title that <laughs> with a gamer tag, let's do that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. First up, I'm going to run over to the fleet uh, by using my fleet pass, and I'll show you where we're going from there. So in part one, I showed you how to farm some of the heroics that you can get. Again, you do have to be through chapter 10 to do that, but for this next one, what to do is be above level 60. Fair thing though, if you've created a brand new level 60 character and you complete any one of them, uh, cannot delete that character and get that token back. So just keep that in the back of your brain. But if you are anywhere between the levels of like about 55 to 60, you can do these right away. You don't have to wait till 65. Uh, so well, first thing I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to head to the fleet and then I'm going to head over to one of the mission terminals and I'll show you as soon as this is done loading. Uh, for my gear, uh, I'm just going to show you right now kind of what I'm starting with. Right now, I am using just a very basic set of, set of gear. Uh, it's in Legacy Armor, so I can pass it from uh, Gunslinger to Gunslinger. I do have multiple Gunslingers that I like to use. Uh, right now, it's mostly basic mods, uh, a few um, you know enhancements, or excuse me, augments to go on top of that, and uh, a six-piece set bonus armor ring, an old six-piece set bonus armor ring. So there's nothing like spectacularly you know, awesome about my gear. Go ahead and click on CZ198. We may have some other people doing this as well today. This is a uh, Tuesday when I'm filming this, and this is right after the server reset. So a lot of people like doing these weeklies right out of the gate. But here's the cool thing, Questing Hub, that came out as a separate patch way back uh, in during like the 3.0 era. And the cool thing about CZ198 is that it is usually very uncrowded. You can see right now that there's only uh, two people here on the Republic side, and that is including myself. I'm going to accept all these missions, and I'm just going to go straight for it. Okay. Uh, great thing about CZ198, it's a very small questing area that is very helpful. There's a very decent quest reward bonus, and the enemies are not very tough. Uh, I'm sorry, I actually t went down the wrong hallway. Um, also, you note know, my starting time is about 5.39. And my starting cache is 78904106. I have a spreadsheet that I do ha uh, use on my computer <clears throat> to help keep track of how much money each of my characters have so I can check and see how much money each character is making doing different types of events. Uh, you don't have to do that yourself, but I did find that there were some things that I thought were making me lots of money that actually didn't make me very much money at all and you know, for the time that you're putting into it. So. Number one of the bullet, obviously, is the heroics I showed you in video one. This is, though, a very good second. Uh, the other reason being, too, because all these quests here are repeatable every single day, except for the weekly quest that I grabbed. Uh, that one you can complete once per week. But, uh, yeah, if you're ever looking for fast credits, <coughs> and you're not looking to craft anything or be part of a raid team, then this is a great way to kind of jump on in to a place that is pretty much going to be exclusively you. Uh, CZ198 is just not very crowded right now. Not a lot of people come to it. I'm also a slicer, by the way, so I'm going to have uh, Risha slice that over there. Uh, the great thing about a non-competitive quest zone, I'm actually on a very crowded server. I'm on the Harbinger. And uh, the great thing about a non-competitive quest zone is just that you can take care of business in a hurry without having to worry about uh, cheating out other players by grabbing a quest item ahead of them. Uh, or building up any sort of grief that way. Uh, you can basically work at your own pace as well. I'm also going to have to take this guy out really fast. We should go get him. Uh, one negative thing about CZ198 is that the respawns happen very quickly. Alright, so do be aware that uh, as you are running around in here, um, there is quite a large possibility that things can respawn directly on top of you. Uh, I've had it happen to myself. Uh, if you're moving pretty quick, you shouldn't have to worry about it too much, but even a slight pause and wait uh, in what you're doing can lead to, you know, having to do a little bit more work than you want. Uh, also, as you notice too, uh, you do take a little bit more damage here than you do on the heroics I showed you in video one. That's fine. Uh, if you need to, just switch out your companion to do heal spec for a little bit, and then you can either throw them back in DPS, or you can just keep them in as a healer. It's it's up to you. My Risha is uh, pretty strong. Uh, I think she's about you know rank 20. Uh, the max is 50, but 20 I found is is a great place to get really good crafting out of a companion and good DPS. All right, gonna take out this droid. Uh, the other thing about CZ1982 that I really like is that the quests kind of stack on each other. As you fight through the area, you're tackling the area quests, 
um, you know, and you're finding those containers to unlock, and you're getting everything else done. So, you know, you're not really aiming to do one quest right after another. You just move through the zone, and it pretty much takes care of itself. I'm already at 24 for 35 on bad guys. Let's go ahead and use Rocket Boost to get over this elevator. Uh, this uh, quick travel console to the right of me, I do recommend grabbing that. I don't need to. I've done that on this character already. But uh, that's not one of the ones that automatically and instantly happens. Also, CZ1 and 8 does have some uh, nice slicing terminals if no one else has been around lately, which is kind of cool. A uh, few extra credits. Eh, you know, not going to make you rich, but sometimes those lockboxes also have crafting missions in there as well, and that can be beneficial. Alright, easy peasy enemies. Alright. Uh, also, the route I'm taking right now is one that I've just gotten very comfortable with. I find that uh, it's definitely one of the fastest for me personally. Uh, you can choose to move through here however you like, but uh, I do recommend this particular path, at least for the opening gambit. Once you get to this lower level down there, uh, you may have to you know, finagle around a little bit if you need still more bad guys or more containers. Anyway, right now I'm at two for six bio containers. That's uh, those square looking ones right there that you can kind of see uh, by this third bad guy uh, from left to right. Okay, what I like to do is loop around behind this little platform. There's usually two or so down here. There's just one here. I might be thinking the one on the other ramp on the other side. Uh, you can do... Now, unlike uh, uh, what I was talking about in the heroic videos, where those... The speed of that one comes from the fact that that is Republic side uh, quests organization. With this... I'm sorry. Doing three things at once. <laughs> uh, with this side, with the CC198 quests, you can do these on Imperial characters as well. And it's the exact same quest. Uh, there's no variation then whatsoever. So if you're looking to do uh, some quick credit farming and you are an Imperial character, you don't have any Republic characters yet, then, uh, then this is a great alternative option. Uh, you won't get quite as many credits as you do doing those heroic farming, uh, and you won't get quite the same amount of rewards, but... Um, it's readily available for you. Uh, it's very easy to complete without uh, too much of a hassle. There's one other thing on the... S let's see, that's the north end. I just gotta get past some of these guys. Uh, okay, and that is a champion level bad guy. There he is, the CZ uh, 5X Extractor. Uh, for this, uh, I'm just gonna go and pop a rock moment because my companion's uh, not in heal stance right now. This is your last mistake. Oh, hang on. How did we get these guys? Alright. Okay, I may have also picked up these guys. This is why Heroic Moment can sometimes save your bacon. Ugh. This would have been a good spot for a marksman. Okay, here we go. I really gotta take it to this guy fast. Gotta get his attention. Okay, that was me screwing that up and still making get out of it. Alright, it's just that easy, folks. I'm gonna put Risha into heal stance for a little bit, and then we're gonna take on the last quest here as I travel over. She should be fully healed up by the time I get off my mount here. Here we go. Whoa! Dang it. Forgot about this guy. Fly too close to the sun, you get burned. Again, this goes a little quicker if you didn't make the mistake of running smack dab into a uh, gold star bad guy. Alright, here we go. Alright, gonna take this elevator down, and we're gonna go to the waste disposal area. Down here, we just got some really easy trash mobs. I'm in, in uh, Saboteur spec right now. That gives me a bunch of extra AoE damage. I kind of use that planning ahead. Uh, also, as a gunslinger uh, with sweeping gunfire here. What do they call it here? Yeah, sweeping gunfire. Um, also very advantageous uh, for this particular setup. <clears throat> Season 198 has a lot of weak type bad guys that die really quickly to this uh, AoE. I've found that using things like... 
uh, assassins, you know, especially if they're in uh, their stealthy branch or, you know, characters that basically focus on single target damage. They don't get through these quests quite as quickly and, you know, easily as uh, ranged AoE types do. So if you are doing these videos and you're using something that uh, does single target damage, you can still do it. It'll still go pretty quick. But uh, I would say that having that AoE spam definitely will shorten your time considerably. All right, and last but not least. Okay. So if you're looking to really save time, uh, once I get up on this platform and click this, I'm gonna have a gold star bad guy to face. I'm gonna go ahead and pop and trench in advance and uh, blow this canister. Okay, uh, I'm basically looking to, to kill this guy without um, hitting these tentacles, which unfortunately it looks like right now uh, those tentacles spawn kind of far back, so I'm going to place Plasma Probe there. Kill, kill these guys in the same AoE. Okay. Uh, nine times out of ten, that tentacle to the left spawns over here. Okay. And, uh, you know, don't have to take out the, uh, all the ads in the room to finish the quest. That's it, folks. That was every mission. It is 548. I'm going to go ahead and turn these in, collect the cash, tell you how much I made, and uh, show you that this is absolutely 100% eminently repeatable. Uh, a lot of people overlook this, this whole entire area, because this is old content. But if you are looking to make money very fast, you don't have access to a lot of crafting or a good raid team, then this becomes an excellent option for you to just come in, uh, make some credits, and make some comms. Uh, I'm actually close to capping here. I did actually cap on uh, on basic comms here, so I actually have to spend some of those on a character. All right, and in my inventory, I'm just going to go ahead and sell these tokens. Those tokens, by the way, I already have max rep with CZ198, but uh, so you can use them or sell them. It's up to you, depending on what you need to do. All right, so I'm going to pause for a sec, and I'm going to tell you how much uh, money I made total. Okay, folks, so the grand total for this run of CZ198 was 114,966 credits. So a little over 100,000 credits, about 115,000 credits is what you can expect to make. So that's not too bad and not too shabby for the amount of time that you spend in there. And also, like I said, if you end up not pulling extra bad guys, that goes a little quicker. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like tips and tricks like this or you found like this was some new good information for you, uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, and also I have a new player referral link in my in the body of uh, my uh, uh, my yeah, in the body of the video. I have a new player referral link, guys. If you want to join in in the fun of the new republic, come on in. Uh, hopefully, with these tips and tricks, you can come in as a new player and really get cracking uh, into the meat and guts of this game. All right, take care, guys, and I'll see you next time.